Hello everyone, welcome back to another Fallout 4 console mod video, where we are going over some of the essential mods to download for the game after the next-gen update to improve your overall gameplay. So far we have covered the best graphic mods and made combat a lot better. In this one I'm covering towns and buildings to make exploration more exciting, especially if you have played the game a lot before without mods. Basically, a lot of these are adding in new locations to discover in the wasteland or adding stuff to existing locations. Also, there are several mods I wanted to add to the video, but the next gen update has broken them. For example, Diamond City Expanded is no longer working. And so a lot of the mods that do work are quite similar, but anyways, we'll still go over them. And they all should work with each other despite doing similar things. So basically, they add in new interiors and exterior locations to the Commonwealth. Crowded Commonwealth is a mod that adds in some new locations to the map for you to explore, and in total there are 11 locations added, each with a little bit of story and lore to explain them, usually in the form of NPCs or a terminal. The locations added are Katie's Pit Stop, Improvised Graveyard, Hoarders Drop Off, Behaviour Corrections Camp, and that's the one in the video clip where there's a bunch of kids fighting synths, Abandoned Crime Scene, Medical Camp, Hudson's Militant Camp, Hoover Parking Lot, Willowbrook Park, Makeshift School, and the old synth safe house. Expanding Bosting is another similar mod that adds in new locations and interiors to the Commonwealth, just making for more exploration options when out and about. So the mod adds in Harbour Tackle across from the Boston Airport, a simple lore friendly bay and tackle shop, added Kittleson's residence near Kendall Hospital, one of Boston's larger two-story apartment complexes with a walk-in closet. You have to beware of the raiders, though. Added the East Boston boats next to the Robo Sales and Services. And added Poseidon Energy ARC between Construction Site and Monsinger's Plaza. You can uncover the story of Poseidon Energy's Atmospheric Research Center. And that is one of the locations, again, I've shown in the video. Beantown Interiors, this is another mod that aims to add in more exteriors and interiors to the world, basically making more buildings explorable and having less boarded up windows in the towns. Beantown Interiors adds over 80 new locations to the game, including 4 in Beaver Creek, part of Far Harbour, 2 in Bradburton, part of Nuka World, 5 in Charleston, 9 in Cambridge, 3 in the Cambridge Crater, 1 in Chestnut Hallock Reservoir, 20 in Concord, which is a lot, 6 in East Boston, 7 in Forest Grove Marsh, 1 in Hyde Park, 5 in Jamaica Plains, 1 in Lexington, 1 in Medford, 4 in Hant, 1 in Nuka Station in Nuka World, 4 in Salem, 6 in South Boston, and 4 in Quincy Ruins. Urseo's location pack adds in yet more locations to the game. The crashed APC, the destroyed shack, raider camp near the minefield, ravaged shack, fisherman's camp, crashed vertebird, military convoy, and the scavenger's camp. Stumble Upon Interiors adds 9 new immersive interiors added to the Commonwealth, and there's no quest tied to these places, and none will have map markers, but they are all made to be stumbled upon while traversing the Commonwealth. The last version of the mod contains 9 new interiors, including the apartment building in Esplanade, Attorney's Office in Natick Banks, Bunker Hill Bar in Charlestown, Coltrane's Bar in the Fens, Fenway Park Pool Club in the Fens, Delicatessen Store in Malden, the Bookstore in Malden, Grandma's Flora House in Cambridge, and the North End Crypt in the North End. Plenty of exploration, like the previous mods, wants to add in more locations to the Commonwealth and take some of the boarded up locations and adds interiors to them and adds entire new locations to explore on the map. Currently, there are nine new interiors. The Forgotten Home, The Decrepit House, Ransacked Abode, Discount Store, Drifter's Cell, Dreary Rest Stop, Makeshift Cavern, Drug Den, and Trashed Living Quarters. Also adds eight exteriors, including the Raider's Overlook, Mining Hut, Ned and Shep's Retire Shelter, Sinner's Haunt, Barry's Peeping Hole, Barry's Temporary Retreat, Rickety Fishing Hut, and The Swarmed Cabin.
Welcome to Good Neighbor, this is a mod that adds in a whole bunch of new stuff to Good Neighbor, including two new story quests, three assassination missions, seven new establishments, two brand new player homes, new locations in the Commonwealth related to the story, new enemies and more. It also includes over 500 new lines of dialogue, which is amazing, and Good Neighbor was always a little bit underwhelming, but with this mod there is around three hours of new content for you to have fun with. And unlike the previous mod, this one is more about overhauling Good Neighbor and making one of the game's existing locations a bit more exciting rather than the previous mods which were adding in entirely new locations, although this mod does still add in a few new locations for you to explore. Now my favourite mod on this list is Starlight Drive-In Prison Camp and Horror Adventure. Starlight Drive-In is usually a bit of a letdown, a huge open space with nothing there, and even building there is not really that exciting. But a mod that adds in something a lot more interesting to the spot is the Prison Camp and Horror mod. And with this one you can discover a dark story, including 7 unique modified villa weapons, 6 unique legendary variants of those weapons, a unique alien blaster, lots of story, including newspaper articles, notes, terminals and holotapes, a few unique NPCs, friends and foes, a few very well hidden doors and secret stashes, and lots of traps, and as you can see in the video, lots of ghouls as well. So the entire area has been redeveloped and there's a lot more things to explore. Commonwealth Underground and Forgotten Spaces. This mod adds in areas to explore that focus on areas underground. Pre-war there were many underground places to explore than are in the game, such as bunkers, metro stations, bomb shelters and more, and while well, with this mod they are added back into the game. 20 new areas to explore, sizing from small to large connected areas, and also includes two new side quests. All areas have been nav meshed and tested with companions and player. Interiors include bomb shelters, subway tunnels, military bunkers, sewers and cellars, and even a mall. Some interiors are connected, allowing for alternate travel routes through some areas, and more spaces to explore, more loot for settlements and mods, and more stories to be found. Finally we have Atomic World 2.0. This mod adds in many new exteriors and interior locations to the Commonwealth, and the mod uses mostly vanilla assets to try and keep everything as lore friendly as possible. The 2.0 version, which I'm using in the video, also removes certain things which were mostly broken precombines from the game, but it does add in a bunch of new things, including the main part of this mod which are two brand new cities in the glowing sea called Titan and Arcus which is what I'm exploring in the video, but also adds in many new locations to existing towns, adds new vendors and safe houses, and expands the town north of Vault 111. Many existing locations have been changed, new interiors, dungeons, and just general polish to the world. So a very cool mod, and the cities it add are not small either, they are pretty big and close to each other, and are placed in the glowing sea, making the whole area a lot more interesting to explore, and dangerous since both cities are filled with super mutants. Well there we have it, the best mods for adding in new locations to explore in the game world and improving existing locations to be less boring or with less boarded up buildings and more unique stuff like bomb shelters and sewers, even two new cities. With these mods you will have at least 100 new locations to find in game. If you enjoyed the video like and subscribe for more and I'll see you all in the next one, bye.